Uh, what happens if you lose your QID while traveling? Let's say, for example, you've gone your vacation and all of a sudden, not in a good luck or I will not say in a very bad way, you get to lose what you call your QID. And yet you have to return into the country. What did you do or definitely what are you supposed to do if you lose your QID while traveling or transit or anywhere or even in your vacation? Yes, in this case, we are going to look at two situations on which you can return into Qatar if you happen to lose your QID. However, before you talk about losing your QID, most important to note is that you must be very aware that the QID is a very important document for you to keep safe. Because it's the only way that's the only document that can really prove that you are allowed to stay or you are a resident or you are allowed to stay in Qatar. So meaning that you should safeguard it, you should take care of the document, you should keep it like the way you have to keep your passport. In case you are still or in case you are still employed in this country. That could be the first piece of advice for anyone who's traveling and you recklessly have to throw away or have to keep every document apart. It may be, sometimes it may be very hard for you to return. If you don't have a very good company, it may not be very easy for you to return into the country once you report that your QID is lost in any way or the other. But in this case, I want you, I want us, I want to address you, I want to let you know something that you definitely need to do. For example, if you lost your QID while traveling, maybe you're on vacation, and you had not yet exceeded what you call the allowed six months, what did you do? Definitely, the first thing you'll do, you'll get a letter, a police letter from your home country. That police letter will have to be assertated by what you call the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in your country, which marks that your QID or which says, which read as the evidence that you lost your QID. Then, as you return, as you return to Ahmad International Airport, that letter is what you're going to present, which states that your QID was lost. It will include the date, the time, when you had to report to police. All that is part of what you call the police reference that will be given to you. So at that case in Hamad, at Ahmad Airport, they will issue what you call a return visa at the immigration for you to come into the country. Why do I have to say so? Someone will ask, how do they know? They always have your details. Of course, once you have your passport number and mobile phone, once they put in your passport number at the immigration, they definitely it will have to retrieve back all the information that concerns an individual. If you want to know all about Megs, when he went out of the country, when he came out of the country, how long he has stayed out of the country, definitely. It's just going to be the only way that it's going to show. Something that's also still I need to remind you, they will issue what you call a return visa at Ahmad International Airport for you to re-enter the country. But that one also is going to be with what you call a recharge fee, which is going to be around 200 real for you to pay at the immigration to be accepted to make re-entry into the country. And something still also I let you know, once you report your QID that it throws, it will be marked, it will definitely be marked lost in the system and what does it mean when you enter in the country your sponsor or if you're the sponsor of your own visa you'll have to get a new qid afresh let us look at situation two let's say for example it is lost but you exceeded the allowed period of time outside Qatar. the allowed period of time we are talking about we are talking about what you call six months what you do, do need to do or what do you have to do so in this case as you're returning or as you're planning to return into the country you must let your sponsor know your sponsor will prepare for you will apply for you what you call a return visa into the country that will be submitted by your sponsor 
through, he will apply through Metrash. He will send you a copy. And that is the visa that you are going to use to re-enter into the country. However, at the airport still, you will have to sign a form of undertaking. Which shows that you will never do it again losing your QID. This puts you back in what you call a sense of responsibility as an individual. So once that undertaking is done at the immigration at entry immigration, still you'll have to pay a charge or a penalty of 200 Qatar rials. However, still something that definitely I have to remind you still the same situation too. Your QID is going to be marked as lost in the system. So when you after entering into the country, your sponsor will have to get a new QID, will have to apply a new QID for you. Hope I've tried to answer it rightly and hope I've tried to give you the best explanation. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you so much. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give me that subscribe. We are looking at a lot to 10,000 and it's only your effort. Remember, I'll be giving you everything, every updates what you need to know a little bit of what you need to know about the law, what you definitely should do, what you can do, and what can make you move on in any way or other. Don't forget, it's next from the next question. See you again in the next video.